Wildlife wrangler Ryan Boyd is knee deep into a snake hunt. Is it okay if I move anything? In a messy garage where everything is a hiding place. I mean, he could be in one of these rolls of wrapping paper. It could be anywhere. And it could be deadly. A lot of rattlesnakes in this area. And we're right here near a, a big lake source, a big water body. So it could be a water moccasin as well. All right, I got the snake. It's a yellow rat snake. This guy's not venomous. He's about three feet long and he is not happy. His tail, he's rattling his tail kind of like a rattlesnake. He's not happy. Ooh, you see him, he just bit me. Now you, you can actually get an infection from a non-poisonous snake because the bacteria that's in their saliva. So if you ever get bit by a snake, even if it's non-venomous, you always want to wash that out. A pretty little guy. And see how his tongue is sticking out? What they're doing is they're tasting the air. Snakes don't typically have that good of uh, eyesight, but they have incredible sensory glands. They can taste any change in the environment, helps them find their way around, helps them find food. So we're gonna go ahead and get him in a safe okay. spot. Don't, I don't want to get near him. I'm very, very scared of snakes. Okay. You don't, I'm so freaked out. You don't want to pet him before I take him no, away? No, okay. no. I will take him away then. You won't have to worry about this guy anymore. Rat snakes are actually really good snakes to have around because they help keep rodents in check. But I'm going to be relocating this guy far away from this garage, which is no place for any snake to be. All right, he is safe. Safe and secure. Thank you, Ryan, for getting him. It always feels like a job well done when I can get an animal out of a tight spot and make the homeowner feel safe. 